Yo, what's up guys, it's x and welcome to a new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Weapon Preview. Now today we're going to be talking about the snipers, the shotgun, pistols, and of course the new category called Heavy Weapons. Now, make sure to subscribe if you guys are new so you guys don't miss more videos on attachments, perks, everything in the future, and anything related to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare as the news comes out, I will be covering. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe so you guys won't miss a video, and slap a like on the video if you do enjoy it. It will help my channel grow and it gets this info to other people who maybe haven't seen it or heard it. Now anyways, with that, so let's jump straight into our categories. First of all, the sniper rifle. There was only one shown off at the event GamesCon and that was the Moors and it's a bolt action sniper rifle. And from what it says, it says that it's its best in class for handling. Now we do know there are going to be a lot more snipers, shotguns, pistols, everything in the final build of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but what they had at the event was the Moors, and it was the only sniper rifle. One unique thing about it was that you do have to reload after every single shot, so it'll be interesting to see what happens to that when it comes to people who are trying to get feeds. But anyways, let's move on now to the next weapon, which is going to be the shotguns, and again, it was one of those where it was only one gun in that category, and it was the TAC-19. Now the TAC-19 is a pump action direct energy weapon, so it's not a regular shotgun. Shotguns shoot out pellets, they shoot out this slug, it blows up, turns into little pellets and it just destroys people. In this one, it actually shoots out like a wave of energy to kill people. Now I'm not sure how exactly this is going to go when it comes to accuracy or how it comes into how much range it has, but hopefully it's not going to be too overpowered. It's going to be you know something unique to use, but hopefully it's not a really overpowered one and it does do quite a bit of damage as you guys can see from the stats on there. But anyways, that was a shotgun, it was a TAC-19, and it says that it's the best in class when it comes to mobility, so apparently it's the easiest one to kind of run around with. But anyways guys, that was the shotgun, let's move on now to the heavy weapons, which are going to be a new category in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which are basically a category where you have these big weapons that shoot out lasers and they heat, they don't have ammo, they actually just overheat, so we'll see how it's going to end up affecting different combat. But Anyways, it says it's a constant beam of fixed energy, of directed energy, so it's going to shoot a laser. It has no ammunition, but can overheat, and apparently when it comes to this type of weapon, it's the best in class when it comes to damage. So, it'll be interesting to see how these new heavy weapons are being used. you got to be really careful not to overheat it, so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty cool when you go into feeds, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, let's move on now to the next heavy weapon, which is going to be the XMG which is a fully automatic heavy machine gun and it's actually a Kimbo only. So this one is one that you use two of them. I know a lot of people really enjoy a Kimbo primary weapons back in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And this is kind of interesting and they're going to bring that back when it's going to be two heavy machine guns. And it says as increased fire rate and accuracy in a lockdown mode. So if you put it down or if you stand still, it has more energy and a higher rate of fire. So we'll see what happens with these guys. Looks again like it's going to be a pretty, pretty sick new category. But anyways, guys, that was the heavy machines, the heavy weapons. Let's move on now to the last category, which is going to be pistols. And they only had two in the game. Obviously, the one that we all know about, since it's going to be a pre-order bonus, is the Atlas 45. And it's a .45 caliber pistol from what I assume. It's semi-automatic and apparently it's the best in class for handling. So it's going to be one that you're going to be able to kind of run around and actually move around really quickly with. And of course, the one that a lot of people were talking about that they thought was overpowered was the RW1, which is a brake action handle rail gun. And it actually is a one shot to kill weapon. A lot of people were pissed off. They're like, man, it's going to be overpowered. But you do have to reload after every single shot. So it does kind of balance out a little bit. That was it guys, that was the brake action handle railgun and it says that it's the best in class when it comes to damage and of course it is because it's a one shot to kill weapon depending on where you shoot them in the body of course but that was it guys, that was the snipers, shotguns, the heavy weapons and of course the pistols. Let me know what you guys think, leave some comments down below, do you think that the pistols are overpowered, do you think the heavy weapons are going to be dumb? Let me know, leave some comments down below. A lot of people are really confused with how the shotguns and the snipers are. You know, we only saw a couple of them, so we'll see what happens with them in the future release of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare once the game is completely released. And I honestly am excited to see what more they have to show us. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below, do you think of any of these weapons are overpowered, if you've seen any gameplay on them. And anyways, guys, until next time, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to slap a like and a favorite on the video. It gets it out there. It helps my channel grow. And let me know that you guys are enjoying these kind of weapon breakdowns and previews. And of course, if you guys are new, this is your first video watching this. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. I am going to be covering Call of Duty Advanced Warfare very in-depth. 
a lot of info and a lot of news coming out and I'll be covering it. I'll be one of the first to get that to you. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss it, guys. But anyways, guys, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And make sure to come out. Peace.